hello and what is going on you guys hyperion blue gt here welcome back to grand turismo 7 part number 15 on the last video from part 14 since i participate in two events at the european sunny cup 500 and one in the 400 to be at the same event by using the renault r5 turbo 1980 with the udrs in sportec livery with my total drama self rev persona in it right now Let's go to the license center to take on International B license after graduate from National A. This will be a very good challenge to be designed to improve your sports driving. Learn how to navigate urban circuits and tracks with height differences as well as other competitive racing techniques. Sounds cool. So right now, we'll be using different sports car will be featured in International B license to have different course layout on different exams before starting out on IP1 to 10 will be reached up at the end. But I can't wait to have a good racing line at Trial Mountain Circuit for the R32 GTR. So right now, let's start out to be at IP1 in Racing Line Intermediate 1 at the Big Willow by using the Chevy Corvette C7 Stingray 2014. I'll make sure I'll be ready to go in to take a training exam to do some fine course to go intermediate. For right now, Igor Fraga is about to become as the international B license coach. I'll make sure I'll be ready to take on with some good excellent corners to go from basic to intermediate. IP1 is Racing Line Intermediate 1, where you learn about the proper racing line for a long corner. The most important thing when taking long corners is to avoid losing too much speed. Use the throttle to keep your car stable and experiment with various lines. But I'll make sure if I could probably have to turn some music on, just gonna have to go to the options and do some sound volume, turn the BGM back on since I didn't participate in round 2 of the Nations Cup. Oh well. Now, it's time to start out on Racing Line Intermediate 1 to take turn number 2. But it's going to be a very good, excellent piece of cake. Just going to have to stay steady and keep a throttle hold. Yeah. I know this is very tougher as it looks to be. Okay, looks like that makes attempt number one to be checked and bronze to be marked at 18.280 seconds. Alright, now just gonna have to get my brain work together functionally, but I know it may be very hard to take turn two to do some racing line technique. Just gonna have to slow down and deaccelerate. But it might be possible to change the traction control onto number one. Let's see how it turns out after achieve on the silver. All right, not bad. Doing average, 17.670 seconds. I'll make sure I have to work hard to get the goal. We'll be doing the same 17 seconds to be at the decimal by under six seconds. Switch back to the radar, and looks like double trouble with Ghost Car coming in. Come on, just gonna have to keep that C7 Corvette work together. Alright, new record. Attempt number four, we'll have to go for another chance. Gonna have to keep my eyes on turn two. Go on to do the breaking points. Inside, keep the pressure on the throttle. Just like the final corner, but it might have to do going much different this time. Haha, <laughs> yes, yes. 17.554 seconds. IP1, pass. That's how turn number two at the Big Willow works for any road cars, including the Corvette C7, works perfectly to do some traction controls to do some steady line. 
I'll make sure this replay will be saved as well to do some memories. There you go. Perfect thumbnail on the Corvette. One exam down. Nine more to go. Very good place to have some jump start to do some 6,000 credits after passing the goal. So four miles on the daily workout. We'll have to take more exams. We'll be moved on to be on the next course. On to IP2. Racing line intermediate 2 at Daytona Rail Course for using the Ferrari F430 2006. Sounds like a very good place to go faster to be on the straightaway and take the bus stop. I am so very hyped to be on the most finest course exam in Daytona folks. Just to wait that I'm about to have a full race someday because this course will be part as a license test exam for the International B. IB2 is Racing Line Intermediate 2. You'll learn how to smoothly connect the apexes of corners. This challenge involves the consecutive corners that follow the high speed straight at Daytona. Focus on increasing your exit speed from the corner that leads to the straight. Leads to the straight? Sounds like a good point, Igor Faka. Let's see how the full straightaway to take the bus stop is going to be a very good, excellent run. IB2 in attempt number one goes on. <sighs> I knew it. I should rather do some early break at, at the time. Sorry about that folks. I just had a tough day by having some stress. Alright, there you go. Just gonna have to drive smoothly. Ah, bummer. I know I almost barely had the chance to be well mastered on the bus stop in Daytona. So let's try attempt number three. Just gonna have to go early break, pass on to do some apexes, drive smoothly in, pass through, and there you go. That wasn't so hard to get the goal. 15.145 seconds. Excellent job, successful training complete. Now I have to make sure to do some practice on bus stop when I'm racing at Daytona. Second replay on IB license will be part of the memory. Very good job to be on the number 10 spot on the friends ranking. Good job for taking the second course on Racing Line Intermediate 2, just like doing some advanced course from National A License. But International B is a semi-tough course whenever we have to try our best to make a good focus on the goal. Next up on IP3, High Speed Corners at Fuji International Speedway for the Lexus RCF 2014 to be in the middle section on Sector 2 after leaving Sector 1. Alright, Coach Praka, show me what you got and I'm about to be as a student to take this part of the exam. High Speed Corners is doing some excellent exam technique to do some skills with some corners onto the apex. Just gonna have to get ready to do some more efforts if I could probably have to pass correctly. IP3 is high speed corners. You'll need to use the accelerator pedal to keep your car under control. In this challenge, you'll be track tackling a high speed corner on the Fuji Speedway. On high speed corners, with strong g-forces, you'll need to make fine adjustments with the accelerator to keep the car stable. Sounds like a very good faster pace to go balance. Just gonna have to switch it up onto TCS1 and take on for the third exam. Gonna have to go turn number two. Keep it good steady and using the lateral G-force. But I am always gonna have to follow the line. Hold it in, deaccelerate, try not to get too much pressure.
Okay, looks like doing well. Take the hairpin and go on to the 180R. Silver is doing okay, but it wasn't so hard. But I'll make sure attempt number two will have to go again for having a single lap to try a different same exam. But very good best record in 37 seconds to be on the decimal if I could probably had to get 0.7 seconds to be on the 8 second time limit. Hold it in. Take the 180R. Dive down. I know this is going to get a lot of trigger pedal finger. Okay, doing well. Just going to have to keep on tracking. Next turn on the right. Finish line at the end of the course. There you go. Gold medal achieved. 37.562 seconds to be on the new record. Okay. That's only three down. Seven more to go. Replay to be saved and move on to be at next license test in IB4. Just gonna have to keep building up with a daily workout. I'm always going to have to do some more training to do some practice. Urban Tracks 2, Tokyo Expressway East Clockwise by using the R34 Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 Nürburgring Edition 2002. Alright, looks like another city exam to be at Tokyo Expressway to be on a different course layout. Just like National B license, but International B is going much intermediate, will be doing challenging to be on the smooth top corners. Alright, let's see how I could probably have to do the second Urban Tracks on IB4. IB4 is Urban Tracks 2, where you practice using all of the track all the way up to the wall. In this challenge, you'll learn how to master one of Tokyo's urban circuits. Find a line that allows you to hit the apex of each corner precisely. Sounds like a very good interesting piece of cake. Let's do it. Let's take on Urban Tracks 2 to see how the R34 Skyline can actually do some insight to hit the apex. Gonna have to stay online to do some yellow highlights. Keep going. Gonna have to keep going faster. Okay, here comes the red zone. Gonna hit the brake. Come on. Just gonna have to reach it up in 30 seconds. Average complete, 0.553 seconds in the 31 second range time. Absolutely good, but not over yet. Just gonna have to try for a new attempt if I could probably have to go faster to push up onto the limit. But I'm so hyped up to be well driven in the R34 Skyline is doing some faster intermediate work. Just gonna have to stay right in. Try not to get confused with two ghost car in it. There you go. Just gonna have to do a correct breaking point. Pass through. Try not to get hit by the walls. Ah. So far so close, but decimal of 329 seconds. Now let's go attempt number three. I know I'm just gonna have to do some con concentration if I could probably have to do much harder this time to have this part of the corner. Alright, there you go. Pull that brake. Dive right in underneath the bridge and keep coming forward.
There you go. 30 seconds with a decimal of 721 seconds. Gold medal achieved on the second urban tracks in Tokyo Expressway. Very go good job to be on the results. Wonderful and brilliant. This replay will be saved as well and climbing up on the friend ranking number two to be on a good super spot. That's more like it. Almost halfway there for today's daily workout, folks. It's going to be under an hour left before midnight comes. So next up, Sardegna Windmills to be on the dirt driving intermediate by using the Land Evo 5 GSR 1998. But sounds like the Denny Lion Yellow is going to be having some best call out there for having a Gran Turismo Mini, but, well, perhaps a a loud sound music might be also to be used to do a short moment. But yeah, the yellow Land Evo 5 is definitely might be surprisingly to be as a popular from Gran Turismo 2000. So anyway, let's go and take on in IB5. IB5 is dirt driving intermediate. You'll be learning to turn nice and early on the dirt track. You need to start steering early on dirt tracks. If your car is angled too much towards the inside of a corner, be sure to counter steer in the other direction. Alright Coach Braca, I'm about to take this intermediate dirt... Alright Coach Braca, I'm about to take the dirt intermediate course it is going to be a very tough effort. So let's start out for having a good suitable dirt tires to be as a good promise to be on the current update. Let's do this and drive carefully without getting hit by the barrier. Just going to have to do it like this. Drive counter steering before taking on for having a tough corner and here it is right now. Gonna have to pull the brake early. Drive carefully without having a contact. Okay, keep up the RPM. Second gear is doing well. And piece of cake. 34.475 seconds by having a new clip. But sorry about that folks. I just had a tough cup because my voice is going to be doing much deeper when I cough, but definitely I just going to have to make sure to have some fresh water whenever it might be cool or hot, but but yeah, I just really want to have some hot water to get all that nasty stuff out of my throat. But of course, mucus. So. Replay save. Now let's move on to IP6 after passing IP5 on the dirt. So this is going to be a very good halfway point before at the end of International B License. Next up, cornering in the wet. Intermediate with the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 1989 at Red Bull Sounds like a very good place to have a wet surface for today's weather forecast. But it's going to be a lot of slow patient time out there to drive carefully when you're on the wetter surface to be on the rainy day track. <clears throat> <sighs> well, that hits, that hits the spot. Now, IP6 is cornering in the wet, intermediate in which you'll develop some advanced accelerator skills. Go easy on the throttle when cornering in the wet. Your car is sure to spin if you're too aggressive with the accelerator pedal. Ease up the throttle if the car starts to rotate. This will be a very tough demonstration course to be on IP6 just gonna have to drive normally without having too much aggressive. Always make sure to use the weather radar in case when you're participate in this license exam. So let's get in there and drive normally to stay on for the dirt gear. Gonna have to do some early braking onto this turn. 
Just gonna have to drive smoothly. Just gonna have to keep a good, careful respond on the direction. Okay, keep going. Be gentle and patient. Yep, I have to make sure not to go over aggressive. But here it is. Attempt number one in silver at 39.674 seconds. So I have to make sure to get a good focus by the decimal of three seconds in gold. Let's try again for attempt number two and always make sure to drive carefully to be well driven to go passive without aggressive. Alright, there you go. Just gonna have to keep steering left very hard. Keep pushing. Now for the next turn. Oh boy. Almost going off the track. Oh, so close. I am so very close without having too much aggressive, but 39.264 seconds. Look at this, you guys. That was so challenging and almost hard as well. But luckily, that part of the replay will be saved to be part of the memory. But I cannot believe I almost lose control by taking too much acceleration. But note to self, you're gonna have to drive normally when you're racing on a wet surface. Six license tests down, only four more to go. I'm so glad that I'm, about, I'm about to ace that course to have some different exams. Next up, Racing Line Intermediate 3 at the Nürburgring Norshina Ilpe by using the Taycan Turbo S 2019 manufactured by Porsche. Sounds like an electric sedan is going to be doing a feature for this license exam, folks. This wheel might have an electric vehicle for having some license exam to be on IP7. Show me what you got, Igor Fraga. This will be a very good, excellent corner to be part at the Nürburgring. IP7 is Racing Line Intermediate 3 where you'll focus your attention on corner exit speeds. This challenge features several of the Nürburgring's corners. You'll see that the last one is followed by a nice long straight. Maximize your exit speed from that corner will be crucial. Alright, looks like this exit corner is going to be a very good piece of cake. Let's try out to pass this exam to do some perfect ways by using the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Let's go and pass this exam by enter the exit corner. Gonna have to drive smoothly to be on the drive mode, but it will be having no switching up gears at this moment. Okay, keep going. Gonna have to drive smoothly. Don't go off the track. Try not to lose that control. This part of the exam is very challenging by using the electric vehicle. But, there it is right now. Ended up in bronze by a total time in 29.670 seconds in attempt number one. So let's try this again for attempt number two. But man, after spending so much clip by having some good set because everything might have to do perfectly to be formed as a full video. But I'll make sure that every several clips will be combined into a full segment to be part in part number 15. So let's try to keep things up focused because driving smoothly in the drive mode transmission in the Taycan Turbo S is going to be a hard work to be at one of the finest corners at the Nürburgring. 
Okay, silver, 28.743 seconds. Now, go for attempt number three. Just your way, folks. Many attempts to be parked onto the National B license to be as an international will have to do some challenging ways we'll have to go intermediate. But here comes the double trouble with Ghost Car. It's going to be very hard to handle. Ah, uh, good grief. I just barely go off the track. Let's restart and go attempt number four. I'll make sure it's switched up onto the hood cam. Gonna have to go action this time. This part of the exam really have to be 100% perfect to be on the replay. Hold it in. Try not to get too over aggressive. And there you go. Almost had a chance. Same silver decimal updated for the new record in 73 seconds. All right, let's try this again. Man, exit corner strategy is very hard to handle. So let's see how I could probably have to do my best out there to do some inside cornering. Gonna have to push right in. Do this breaking point here. Okay, there we go. Deaccelerate. Ah, come on. I know this is going to be a very hard to handle to do some exit cornering. New record updated, checked by 16 seconds in the decimal. Okay, gonna have to think hard. Think hard and do a good precision. Okay, there you go. Right at the good respawn. Take some good exit corner strategy. Do the inside successfully. And full stretch for having a good running time by under 28 seconds. And there you have it. Man, I cannot believe it. After spending many attempts to do some hard work efforts to do some exit corner strategy at the Nürburgring. But here it is right now, 27.609 seconds. All right. Racing line intermediate three is all about driving hard work to do some exit apex strategy to do some cornering. I'll make sure this replay will be saved to be part of the memory. But luckily, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S is so very good in use on the license test on International B. There you go. 8,000 will earn and a 3 star roulette ticket received as a daily workout reward. Alright. I'll make sure to do some editing after this. So, moving on in IB8 at consecutive corners, intermediate at Dragon Trail Gardens by using the Mercedes AMG C63S 2015. Alright, looks like this makes a very good freestyle handling to do some inside of the apex will have to go consecutive. I know this is going to be a very good place to do some breaking point to do some maintain speed by the formation. IB8 is consecutive corners intermediate where you'll learn to find the best line through a series of corners. Find a line that allows you to maintain your speed through the series of corners. To start with, think of the four right hand turns as one big corner then try to connect them all smoothly. Hmm. Okay, looks like that makes four st spots in a good combination corner. Okay, Coach Praga, I'm about to do it. Four spots 
in a full consecutive corners is all about the recipe of a driving technique experience. There's one over here. There's two. That must be three. And then the fourth one. I'll make sure the first attempt is doing the warm up example. Okay, not so bad. 20.2 seconds in the silver medal. Now, let's try to see how go aggressive without losing control by doing four points by having a, a consecutive corners. Just gonna have to step right in. Ah. I expect too soon. Let's try it again for attempt number three. This part of the consecutive corners on Dragon Trail Gardens is all about finding a good technique expertise to do some well handled opportunity. Just gonna have to stay right in on every inside of the apexes. It's all about doing some driving techniques in any kinds of road cars and race cars to be part onto some different exams. Almost had the chance to be on the gold record folks. Gonna have to try to keep things up and keep on training. Let's go again. This car is a very good, excellent example to try out with all kinds of new rides. Come on, just gonna have to keep pushing in. Going a little bit far behind. 0.199 seconds. Okay, this time is perfection personal. There's one spot clear, going outside at spot number two. Keep pushing up, spot number four clear and checked. Okay, this time is perfection personal. Let's just gonna have to take spot number one, go in the middle at spot number two, inside at spot three, and inside again at spot number four. All right, there you go. 19.674 seconds in the gold record. Fantastic, well achieved to have some consecutive corners to have a different sports car in a different Mercedes AMG. But this sports car is a very good example to be masterful to be on the fourth spot by having a combination of consecutive. Just gonna have to save a replay on to the number eight. Move on in IB number nine. Almost working up on the daily workout folks Always gonna have to do some training to keep trying harder All right IP number nine is corners with elevation changes number one BMW 3.0 CSL 1973 at Alisage test course This will be a forward course layout just like the reverse direction, just like back from test season 2 in the first round of the Nations Cup by choosing one of the three French hatchback to be using by having a hard effort to be on turn 2 and 3 by the upper hill climbing up changes. But it's going to be very hard in the forward section folks. Let's take on IB9. IB9 is corners with elevation changes 1, where you learn how a car moves differently when going uphill or downhill. Cars will handle differently on corners with elevation changes. Generally speaking, it's more difficult to turn when going uphill and it's easier to spin when traveling downhill. Pay attention to the gradient of the track and control your speed. 
Sounds like a downhill driving technique. I'm about to go for it, folks. I'm about to go downhill with elevation corners to have this part of the exam. Let's do this. Gonna have to drive gentle. Do the inside here. I know this is gonna be very difficult to handle. And do this corner right here. It wasn't so bad to be end up in silver. So attempt number one is clear by the example to do some basic work. Let's go attempt number two to go faster and quicker to be on the downhill elevation. Downhill elevation is very challenging to be on the new course layout of House Age. Just like having a roller coaster including Laguna Seca. So this is going to be the only stopping point at 19 point seconds to be at the decimal in the 41. But I don't know how IP9 is very challenging and difficult to see how the driving directions to be on the elevation. So let's see how the outside cornering could probably have to do this time. Just going to have to do right here and do the inside without having too much aggressive. Ah! That was a sloppy effort. I have to make sure to learn respectfully to be on a downhill corner onto this part of the test course. It's going to be very hard to handle because the Comfort Medium Tires is going to be well equipped. Gonna have to roll down here. Do like this. Okay, looks like I have finally get the hang of it. So you see? That wasn't so hard. 18.639 seconds by having a good gold successful chance to be well doing a perfection to do some driving line technique. So let's exit out and save a replay after this. After passing 9 international B exams, so this will be giving a good successful reference from the past Gran Turismo games before moving on into the final exam. Double check on the replay, so 8,000 credits will have to do some stacking up with some currency wallets. Alright, now let's go and take on the final exam. You pass all tests from IP1 to IP9. Congratulations. Alright, Hyperion Blue GT. Now it's time to take on the IP10 graduation test. Good luck. Yes siree folks, IP10 applying the racing line at Trial Mountain Circuit for the R32 GTR Skyline B-Spec 2 is now doing perfectly to be at a good reference from Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 3. I'm so very hyped for this final exam to give a good taste of nostalgia. This will be a very good place on the final exam before moving on to International A License. Gonna have to get myself pumped up. Racing light I go and let's go Trial Mountain. Here we are, the final exam for the International B License. Pass the exam, and the license is yours. You learn about a variety of different corners, and the final exam is your chance to put your knowledge to the test. When corners are followed by straights, focus on your exit speed. When corners have a change in elevation, focus on keeping your car stable. Good luck! I'm rooting for you. Let's go. Final exam, here I come. Our 32 Skyline takes on an excellent driving line technique at Trial Mountain. But I'll make sure many attempts will be usable at any time so I could probably have to do correctly if I could probably have to master this part of the corner is much suitable to have a nice 
beautiful background changes on this environment. Okay, it's gonna get much further behind. I have to catch up. Coming in at tunnel number two. Do the inside right here. And tunnel number three will be at the full straightaway. All right, looks like the International B license is mine for now, but I'll make sure the gold rewards will be waiting for me after passing the final exam. This final exam is a very good nostalgia moment from Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 3 Aspect. Working hard to do some driving line cornering to be at Trial Mountain Circuit is doing some hard work and try to step things up to go focus for the gold. Now I have to make sure to do this correctly if I could probably have to do a fine figure match if I could probably have to work hard to be as an intermediate driver. Just gonna have to go right here. Pass on to the yellow highlight marker board. Dive in smoothly and keep pushing before entered at the third tunnel. Okay, looks like 42 seconds. New record has been updated in the super spot. Gonna have to work harder because tunnel number one at Trial Mountain is doing some hard work of an all wheel drive exercise technique. But I know it takes forever if I could probably have to do it right. Training is all about. Okay, there you go. Tunnel number one clear. Now I'm gonna have to do this next turn. Drive carefully, don't get too distracted. Alright, there you go. Now aim for tunnel number two. Coming in. And full stretch at tunnel number three. Alright, there you go. Haha, <laughs> sweet golden victory, baby. 41.511 seconds. I am so very good to pass this final exam after many attempts. Yeah. <laughs> that was so proudly job well done, folks. I am so very good to ace that final exam to be at Trial Mountain by using the R32 Skyline GTR. So this replay is very good to be part on the highlights after passing International B license. This is going to be a very good basic example for many Gran Turismo players if you're new enough to be part into the game. There you go. Looks like this technique of that corner is doing a fantastic job out there after coming out at tunnel number two. Comes right back in on to tunnel no, number three. Full straightaway and doing a full final stretch is doing an absolutely job in the goal. That makes a very good proud nostalgia moment in GT7 folks. This replay is perfectly safe to be on the library. Oh man, I can't wait to get the International B license will be acquired. And there it is. I just finally got the International B license is now color from yellow to blue. Oh yeah. I am so very good to be well challenging on intermediate course will do perfectly to have a good correct respond. Thank you very much, Igor Fraga. That was a very good, excellent license test complete. Now for only two rewards, I just got the Toyota GR Supra race car 2019, the Nurburgring 24 hour race 2019 livery. Successful. Congratulations on receiving your international B license. A new gift card has been sent to your garage. Enjoy. Sweet! The 2019 Toyota GR Supra race car is now registered onto the car index. 
Now for the gold reward. I can't wait to see which gold card should I received. Haha, <laughs> sweet yes! The Porsche Taycan Turbo S 2019. Very good electric vehicle is now received as a gold prize. You earn gold in every challenge. Congratulations! A new gift card has been sent to your garage to celebrate this stunning achievement. Nice! Level up on to collector level number 16 is going to be a very good start to have two prize cards to be received. And also to be as a reward, the RI GP6 Metallic GT is now available in the driving gear livery editor. Nice! Very good and job well done from International B. Congratulations on passing the International B class license. I'm Mikhail Heiser, a GT competitor living in Ger Germany. Currently, I'm studying to become an automotive engineer, but I'm also in charge of the International A license. If you can clear all the criteria in each of the tests, you'll be issued an International A racing license. Alright, let's see your skills. Sweet! After Igor Fraka as the International B license coach, now it's Mikhail Heiser to be as the International A license coach. Sounds like a very good place to have a good start out to be moved on from IB to IA folks. Now let's go right back over onto the garage to have a 3 star roulette ticket before at the end of the video. I'm so very excited to have the 2019 Toyota GR Supra to be as a group 4 class. But it is also to be exclusive to be on Gran Turismo Sport but only in GT7 as a prize card to be received to be participate in International B license. Okay folks, it's time for a roulette ticket to have a 3 star ruby ready to use. It's 3, 2, 1. Come on baby, let's see which prize should I get. I hope it's gonna be the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. Haha, <laughs> yes baby! I have successfully had a good correct sense. The Alpine A110 2017 is now acquired as a gift card. This is so brilliant to have a good prize to be well achieved. The black color, Neuer Profound. Excellent. This car is now registered onto the car index and this one is a very good midship layout to be as a real car. I'm so very happy to have three cars will be received as a prize for this part of the video. But I'll make sure part number 16 will be ready to get back to do some more menu book at the GT Cafe. So now it's time to get ready to wrap this up before at the end. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS liveries, Total Drama Fan Art with card liveries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.